explosive discharge here doing a uh, shunt meter update for the uh, DIY earth cable shunt meter we showed in the last video. We're going to have a go at measuring some AC amps. Um, I don't think it's going to be very accurate because my little uh, multimeter can only, only measure on the uh, 200 volt AC range. And it's only to one decimal place so it's probably going to be way out. And uh, that's our toroidal transformer. Put a couple more wines on it, that's, uh, that's two volts now that's putting out. So uh, I'll just connect that up and see what we get. Alright, that's a pretty good connection. 0 0.2. That's not a very good connection at all actually. Yeah, 0 0.2. I had it at 0 0.3 earlier. 0 0.3, there we go. So uh, I'll just go and stick that into the Excel spreadsheet. Into the spreadsheet, um, all the same values as before for the uh, width, cores, and the resistivity of copper. Uh, we got 0.3 volts, which is 300 millivolts, and that reckons it is 87.61 amps. Now, a while ago, we uh, showed this clamp meter, and we couldn't get it to work. I've got absolutely no idea why it didn't work, because I'll just, out of interest, throw it on that, and if I short it together... Shorted, oh, was shorted. We do actually get a reading of uh, at 110 amps. Look at that. Try and clamp it on properly and get a better connection. A fairly good connection. There we go. 140 amps right there. Oh, I'm happy with that. That's quite good. So I'm surprised by that, and I'm quite happy that it works now, because I thought it was absolutely crap when we first got it. AC clamp meter, I think it was about four quid, delivered from eBay. Does volts and resistance, and uh, obviously you can check diodes and continuity with it. It's not wildly accurate, but it does do the job, and it was very cheap. I've set up this little 12 volt solar panel, just in here, because it's got a uh, transparent roof, and it will hopefully top those batteries off. After a while, we'll uh, just leave it there when, when they're not in use. Hopefully it'll keep them top, topped off a little bit. I don't think it'll do much, but it's a bit easier than leaving them plugged in. Because I don't really like leaving these batteries unattended, because they're all second hand. Right now on the uh, kilowatt meter, we're running uh, 764 watts, the whole house. Not a lot is on at the moment. And uh, I'll just put the clamp meter up in the fuse board. Put that light on. And we've got uh, 2.3 amps. But uh, what I'll do is I'll just run through the house and turn some things on. Put the TV on. I'll just add a couple of watts. Skybox. Some of these little halogen bulbs will probably add a bit. Light. 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 They're all energy efficient as well. This isn't going well. Floodlight outside. That'll do a bit. One there. Cat, another one there. I'll have a cup of coffee later. I'll put that on. Put the toaster on. We are up to uh, 5.9 kilowatts. 5.9 kilowatts, and that is 21.9 amps according to the clamp meter. So I'll do a bit of maths and check that's right. All right, so our 5,900 kilowatts divided by our 240 volts is 24.58 amps. Now I could have, uh, if I wanted some more accuracy, connect the oscilloscope up to that AC source because you can get right down to uh, 10 millivolts per division on that so that would have been nice and accurate but uh, there's no point taking it all the way downstairs just for that seeing as uh, the clamp meter is working now. What I think I'll do now I haven't got a lot of work to do at the moment, is uh, I'll make a little PHP script where you can have a drop down menu, you choose your material or you can manually put in your resistivity, put in your length, widths, cores, areas, it'll work out your resistance for you and then you can enter how many millivolts or volts you're reading and the PHP script will generate your current so it'll uh, let anyone, anyone they want make their own shunt meter from pretty much whatever they've got laying about at home. So uh, thanks for watching guys. See you later.